As for Rika, she has found someone to spend Christmas with. As you may have noticed, Alpha and Omega are both here. They came along for the ride um, with Sid when we were accumulating all that stuff for the ether that we needed. But now they're just chilling out here in Charlian near the harbor, and we're all getting to look up into the skies and be really happy about it. But we need to put our serious face on in just a moment, because that's something we'll also need to do. But for now, I hope that all of you have enjoyed Christmas so far. Let's see if we can bring it to an end with a bang. So, with that in mind, greetings people of the world, Matthias Griffin back with you for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV and Walker live here on Twitch. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way off to a couple of places in particular as we allow Alpha and Omega to continue to enjoy themselves. We have only two more side quests to do. We have that one over here, and we have that one at the front of the Lavier Estate. So we might as well pick up the one that's over here first, in front of the last stand. And as it just so happens, Dickon, the run person who runs the place and who was speaking with Alice all the way back in episode 4 or 5, is going to be the person who speaks with us now. So let's go ahead and speak with Dickon to take on his quest entitled Sandwiches and Pretzels. Dickon is being kept busy at the last stand. Welcome, what will you be having today? Oh, it's you, Rika. As it happens, Alice also came by recently. Busy as she is, I wanted she wanted to let me know that she's patched things up with her father. I'm truly happy for her. So am I. But speaking of busy, we're quite short hands on hands this shift. As much as I hate to bother you, could you deliver an order for me? It's a pair of salad sandwiches for an elderly gentleman at Oaks Landing. He's a lolafell with a distinguished air, so you can't miss him. My thanks in advance. Alright then. And of course I do play for trying to maximize my experience, so we'll just switch my dancer. And go and find this particular Lollafell. And once you know it, they're right in front of the Levier Estate. <laughs> also, who wants to bet that the distinguished Lollafell is Lord Lolorito? Who wants to guess that as a possibility? Hey there, Elizabeth. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us. So as we arrive at the fountain... Oh, it's surprisingly not Lord Lolorito. I have never seen you before, but it's nice to meet you. Oh, you're one of the Scions, are you not? Erika, I believe. Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Now, what might I do for you? I have for you a meal from the last stand. Ah, the sandwiches! How very kind of you to bring them. The last stand serves up many scrumptious dishes, but the sandwiches have always been my favorite. My son, meanwhile, was partial to the pretzels. When I was young, I attended the studium. Louis Wall was a classmate of mine, a kindred spirit in the study of magic, and we inspired each other to greater heights. After I completed my studies, I continued conducting research and eventually became a professor. I married and had a family, settled down. Such a life wasn't for Louis Soir, who was on the road more often than not. My son grew to admire him and went on to become his pupil and earn his Archon's mark. He's referring to Papa Limo. To see him set forth to fight for a Yorzia beside Louis Soir filled me with pride. Yet so too did I worry as any parent would. Cause yeah, you see it too, right? The white hair and the uh, and the big 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 eyes that he's got. It's Papa Lima's father. In the end, he gave his life for his cause. So strongly did he believe in it. And having now seen his comrades fight tirelessly to protect our star, I have come to understand whence came his conviction. Up and listening to me blather on. I know you are a busy woman, so I shall let you go. Thank you not only for the sandwich, but also for standing with my son to the last. I'll make sure to let Matthias know that you had nothing but kind words to say. Yeah, that is quite the way to start Christmas night. Hey there, Dickon. Oh, you're back. 
Did you have a shot with the customer? I certainly did. Wonderful. The gentleman's a regular of, our, regular of ours, you see. When he heard that the science had come to Charlien, he was beside himself with excitement. He dearly wanted to meet you, but wasn't sure how to go about it. So, when you appeared when you did, well, I thought I'd make it happen. I appreciate you going along with it. By way of thanks, here's a little something on the house. Enjoy. And so, we'll, all, we'll take our experience of 735 gil and two of these sandwiches that he's talking about. The Philosopher's Sandwich, which is a mage DPS food. Alright, and since there were only two side quests to do here in Old Charlene before we resume the main story, let's make our way on over to the Levier Estates. Yeah, he certainly is. So, looking for, I guess, a suitable flower is this House Levier servant, but I guess I have to ask, why is he doing this in his tuxedo with his fancy white gloves on? Isn't he worried he's gonna make a mess of himself? Yeah, I, I, it's not me. It's not up to me to question what they do, but how they do it. So let's speak with this gentleman to take on his quest entitled Levier Philanthropy. The house levier servant is working to beautify the city. Ah, oh, my lady Rika, what good fortune that you should grace us now. We are planting flowers if you would per chance care to join us. Tis part of Lady Emilianus' efforts to beautify our fair city, you see, which in turn is part of a wider civic contributions. Were you to help with a plant or two, my mistress will surely be delighted. Is now the time to be playing flowers? Yeah! Marvelous, marvelous. Though the world has become an uncertain place, it is in such times, most of all, that the people have needed cheer. Would you not agree? With that settled, permit me to furnish you with some bulbs. As you go about planting them, you may notice other apples helpers here and there. Do feel free to have a chat with them. I certainly will. Two of them are not that far away. Yeah, and it's no different over here with the parlor maid and the housemaid. Yeah, let me step in here. Yeah, really make a good effort. Begging your pardon, but you're Rika Sasaki, yes? I've heard all about you. Seeing that we're all family, Lady Emilion shares the contents of her children's letters, you see. And how they write about you. I've never had the pleasure before, but this feels like meeting an old friend. Not so, to not only meet you at last, but have you plant flowers with us besides? It's truly an honor. On behalf of my fellow servants, allow me to thank you for being such a great friend to Master Arthur and Mistress Alice. Glad we could help. I feel like I have to ask that question or else someone else will. Oh, looks like he's found a friend over here. Or she has found a friend, maybe. Yeah, remember the stocky student from a side quest we did a while ago? Uh, you're one of the sons of the Seventh Dawn, are you not? I've seen you at the Bodessian Annex. Well now, what a great honor it is to meet you. We're students at the studium, you see, and the Levier twins were our seniors. And that despite being younger than us than everyone, to be admitted at the tender age of eleven, they're prodigies of the rarest sort. The graduation theses and deeds in the world are an inspiration to us all, and to meet one of their legendary comrades in the flesh, it's moving beyond words. We often hear tales about the Scions. Like your fellows, we hope to leave our little island one day and do great things. When that day comes, perhaps we'll see you again, somewhere out there. Are we going to break out into singing an American tale? <laughs> Alright, there. We're back. Ah, oh, finished planting the bulbs. Wonderful. In time, they will grow into beautiful Nemea lilies, a symbol of safe travels. Upon learning of this in her children's letters, Lady Emilians took to planting the lilies in the hope that no harm would befall them and their beloved comrades. We humble servants share in that hope. Wherever your path may take you, know that you are ever in our thoughts. Well, you're quite welcome there, sir. So we'll take our experience in our 735 gil. I guess we're not taking flowers for ourselves because, of course, we want these things to be planted and to grow. 
who should still be over in front of Tataru's new shop where we picked up our new armor. And on the whole, that's where we are. So, Tataru will be the one that is going to be continuing the main story for us. So, let's go ahead and speak with her to take on the level 89 main story quest entitled Friends Gathered. Though delighted by your patronage, Tataru is ready to send you on your way. I realize you've still lots to do before you depart, so I won't keep you any longer. I do hope you can find a moment for yourself, and that the others can as well. They said they were returning to the Baldessian Annex, though I doubt they stay for long. If you decide to go looking for them, I suggest speaking with Kral first. I'm sure they would have told her their plans. Alright, that. Let's go reunite with Kral, who is going to be over near the Annex as Tataru mentioned. So Kral will be right in the atrium. You're back! I take it you received your gift from Tataru? We certainly did. <laughs> also, apparently she knew about it. It was a surprise long in the making, with many, many long hours of fretting to get everything just right. I'm glad to see it realized, and with great success. If you're looking for the others, though, they've already taken their leave. Thancred, Ustola, and Oriange have gone to the last stand for a bite to eat. Alice and Graha, meanwhile, though their time would be better sp spent poring over books at Numenon. As for Alphanod and Estenian, well, they've elected to pay visit to the Levier estate, though Estenian seems re somewhat reluctant to go. <laughs> I'm sure they would all be glad for your company if you have a mind to seek them out. Should be feeling peckish, I suggest heading to the last stand before Stola and the others finish eating. But above all else, it would be foolish to run headlong into battle, a fatigued mess. So do get rem do remember to get a good night's sleep. Yes, we will definitely make sure to do that. So off we go to the last stand. So yeah, there's our trio with a uh, chair a set of chairs and a table conveniently located right by the water. Hey everyone. Rika, come to make our trio quartet, have you? Please have a seat and we'll see about getting a drink. Thanks. So yeah, let's chow down. Your business with Chitaru is finished. It is. Yeah, here's what she did for me. My, what a thoughtful surprise. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever would we do without her? Also, it's only just now that I've noticed this. That is one creepy claw that Ashtola has on her hand. I mean, I guess she's being this um, black mage now, but that one claw is creepy. Indeed. And she's right, you know. It hasn't been all doom and gloom. Feels like a lifetime ago that Master Louis Soir gathered us together to form the Circle of Knowing. Since then, we have experienced much. But rather than feeling wiser, the more I learn, the more I find my knowledge lacking. Well, you don't have to feel that way. You've, you've, you've accumulated a lot. Forsooth. As a student, vainly did I believe that I held the secrets of creation in my grasp. Yet that which I had seized was but an insignificant sliver of what awaited in the wider world. <laughs> Clearly. Every encounter, every experience hath served to open mine eyes, enlightening and humbling me in equal measure. Even from those whom I called enemies have I learned many a valuable lesson. You certainly have. And what about you, Thancred? What will we learn at the edge of the universe, I wonder? Yeah, you got them all it over. Ultima Thule. Where the bringer of the end makes her nest. <laughs> I, for one, can't possibly imagine. Yeah, we won't know until we get there. Also, that's well said, Elizabeth. Whatever awaits us there, we will survive. We must. For her. 
But who are you speaking to in regards to the her? Heidelin? Reen? Median of all people? Yeah, who are you referring to? You've nothing left to reprove. Not to Reen, nor Minfilia. Or we'll get through this together or just make sure you bring enough ammunition. But yeah, I think we kind of know who you're alluding to. Yeah, you're your own man now. <laughs> Is what the matter? No, it's nothing. I just... Well, lately I find myself surprised at how much I've changed. How much we've all changed. <laughs> we've come oh, there's together. even pizza here and, and chicken if wings. To say about it, we'll go further still. Aye, we will avert this calamity and return home. Yeah, I guess they wanted Americans to feel at home, so the spread includes a burger, a slice of pizza, and chicken wings. In preparation for which, we must give thought to what we hope to achieve after the proverbial dust has settled. Not to mention what a burrito or two. and Asians all but dealt with, I suppose we'll need to look for new hobbies. In all seriousness, though. In uniting to overcome a common foe. The disparate peoples of the world have found a way forward together. It's a truly gratifying sight to see. Indeed. Though it was many years in the making, we have successfully set in motion the gears of fundamental change. With this, we have fulfilled our humble role as a symbol of hope. And I dare say it is time to bow out. After all, there is no shortage of hands to bear the torch in our stead. Provided they're willing. You know, I never really considered I might live long enough to see an after. But even if my time as a scion came to an end, I don't expect that much will change. Yeah, you'll probably back to go back to being the playboy you were long a time ago. Traveling the world, going wherever the wind blows, lending a hand to those in need. That's my job. A journey for journey's sake. It doth suit thee well. I must confess I too have yearned to see more of the world. If thou art amenable to the suggestion, I would accompany thee. Mine ability to affect an air of normalcy through artful disguise is much improved, thou must concede. <laughs> Aye, ah, well, improvement is relative. You still look suspicious no matter what you wear. <laughs> it's the eyes. What have you, Ishtola? Any grand plans? I think I know what she wants. Why, continue my quest for knowledge, naturally. To begin with, I wish to know the state of the reflections. To which end I must find a means to travel between worlds. Yep, that's exactly what I was expecting. Tis the least I must do if I am to keep my promise. Yeah, plus, I think Runar still wants to marry you. Is the conversation going my way? prove unduly arduous, I won't hesitate to call on you. <laughs> and in return... I will take you to see Reen one day. I'm sure you cannot wait to see the fine young woman she has become. <laughs> Spare me. <laughs> and what of thee? What wouldst thou pursue at duty's end? Yeah, <laughs> putting this on me, huh? Yeah. How does the new Warrior of Lights handle this as Here's she's yours. given another, go uh, another goblet? Oh, hello there. Well, shall we make a toast? Sure. To victory. To victory. To our comrades. And to our comrades. And... To the future of the star. And what am I adding in? Absolutely nothing. 
Gentlemen, drink from your steins. We will drink from our goblets. Pizza and chicken wings of all things. So yeah, as they continue to chat it up and drink to their heart's content. Laugh it up. Provide random insight. Yeah, they really have a lot they want to say. And it's a beautiful night to do that. Oh, and Estrella. Leaving so soon, I suppose it's for the best if you're not if you'd rather not explore the bottom of a bottle with Oyonge. I dare say the others will welcome your company as well, if you can find them, that is. In any case, as long as you make the most of your time, then that is all that matters. Alright, so we can choose either or. Then, in regards to the either or, we'll go over to the west and hit up Alice first. Uh, there's Pudding Way, still enjoying the fruits of our human labor. And Mikote labor, and Viera labor, and Lalafell labor, etc. Alright, Alice, Graha. Yeah, I mean, Jesus, it's the middle of the night, these two are falling asleep. Should I throw water in their faces? You try speaking with Alice, but it's fast asleep. Do we say fire or something, or... What do we do? Yeah, they're both out of it. Yeah, I do have bard instruments. Or we could just chill out and maybe dream a little ourselves. Yeah, catch some quick shut-eye with them. Meanwhile... Yeah, Kral is off to the Numenon herself. Oh. And look what she sees. Yeah, I'm still awake, Kral. These two, not so much. <laughs> Knowing them, they're probably dreaming about the celestial adventures to come. Just as well. They've been running themselves ragged of late. We've all been doing that. Unlike you and the others, I'm a few steps removed from the danger and excitement. The things you all get up to never fail to impress me. But by the same token, I can't help but worry. Of course. Not only for your safety, but... But for your happiness. After everything you've sacrificed, you earned it a thousand times over. From the simple pleasures of tucking into a hearty meal or, or collapsing into a comfortable bed, to the grand triumphs of visiting legendary lands or finding true love, you deserve all the joy in the world. There is so much that life has to offer. So much to be treasured and shared with those we hold dear. So promise me this. Come what may, you won't give up on your own happiness. When you're out there fighting tooth and nail, it's all too easy to forget. But in the end, your passions will be your greatest strength of all. Remember that. Thank you there, Kryl. <sighs> oh, now we got snoring. Oh, you're coming around. Oh, this feels familiar. How so? Yeah, hi there, Graha. Well, tis good to be... Uh, wait. What are you... What am I... Yeah, we're both staring Gods, at the two of you. don't tell me I fell asleep. Well, it is the middle of the night. Not that there's any shame in it, but you were sleeping like babies. <laughs> How embarrassing. You want embarrassing? 
How about all the misdirected mind freaks you did at the end of Stormblood? That's embarrassing. Not a word to anyone. Understood? Not one word. Oh, grow up, how'd I say. I'm told that sleeping in proper beds of your own choosing is a much more effective way to prepare for battle. Oh. So, what were the two of you doing here? Talking. I had a few books to return to the library. Thought I'd take care of it while I could. And you? I was just in for the ride. It's a secret. <laughs> yeah, ju just enjoying a little peace and quiet. I mean, you two did provide that quite nicely. Yeah. Getting embarrassed over sleeping in a public forum? As we reunite with Alphanode and it's standing in who, in a rare instance, is actually dressed casually. Although I do have to ask, why the dagger? You're not planning an assassination, are you? Oh, mon frere. Sometimes you should just calm down and relax a little. Alpha note. Hey there, brothers. Oh. What brings you here? Oh, this is what I was doing. Ah, so you were worried that the Levia household might again be gripped by turmoil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All is well, I assure you. In my letters home, I had made mention of Astinian, you see. Yeah, I can't see why. My mother wished to meet the legend in person, and so we arranged to have a spot of tea together. Ah. Where were you in my hour of need? Fell beasts I can face, but I'm not made for idle chit-chat with lords and ladies. So ceramic doesn't count? Well, I for one thought you held your own. Mother was the picture of delight. Oh, it already happened. You mean I don't get to join in too? I might have been delighted myself. Were we in a tavern with more agreeable drink? Can't get here having a hangover this late, Therestinian. The thought of fleeing crossed my mind. But what then? I'd never hear the end of it. Least of all from Tataru. Well, I guess after this is all over, maybe you'll have the opportunity to become more of a gentleman. Not quite like Hildebrand, but more of a gentleman. I'm sorry. It was not my intent to cause you such distress. It's just... It was one of the things I didn't want to leave undone ere we set forth. That's not to say I think we won't be returning. Yet, given what lies ahead, I did not wish to leave for later that which I could do today. Understandable. After all, tomorrow is never promised. It's fine. Not like I had better things to do. <laughs> Besides, seeing you with your mother brought back fond memories of my own. Be we rich or poor, family is family. That's right, mon frere. Well, it's past time we were on our way. Yeah, we soon have a job to do. Wait. What? Since I left home, I've made a great many mistakes. Mistakes for which I can never make amends. But through it all, you didn't give up on me. Yeah, you've had a whole team of Warriors of Light. To have returned here with you at my side. It means more to me than you know. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. <sighs> 
forgive me, but it needed to be said. Yeah, get it off your chest while you can, man. I'm the one who owes you thanks. Were it not for you, I would not be alive today, nor come to terms with Nidhogg's spirit. I am ever grateful. And we're grateful to have you with us. <laughs> I suppose I ought to thank you both as well, or you never one were one to forsake a friend, or Alpha Note, or I'll always be counting on you. <laughs> yeah. We heard about the stories from Mathiah. <laughs> no, I'm not. And I'm proud of that. So yeah, shall we be on our way then? As incidentally enough, the signs of the seventh dawn now get to see the dawn of a new day. And so it'll be up to Ojika to get us the end of the quest because we stopped to get some shot eye ourselves. As people are still fighting into old shoddy and attuned to the various Aetherites. Over to Ojika. Welcome back, Rika. Return to catch a final few wings before embarking on your mission, I presume? You'll be happy to know your chambers have been cleaned and fresh linens laid out. I pray you enjoy the sweetest dreams on this final night before the big day! Even though it's now almost 6 in the morning. <laughs> so we'll take our 508,000 experience points and 1,595 gold.